we finally have a look at what the Sony Xperia 1 Mark VI looks like. Well, I'm not going to waste your time. Here you go. So you can see what it looks like. This is from the great people over at OnLeaks. They're pretty much the first people to put these things out anytime we have leaks and rumors on new phones. So this is what the renders look like and much to what we were expecting. It looks like it actually is going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit wider and slightly thicker than the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. So if you've been a fan of Sony for a long time and you're used to this 21 by 9 aspect ratio, this very, very thin design with the 4K display, you may be in for some dis disappointment. But if you don't like that design, you might be happier than ever because it's going to adopt a more typical form factor that you would expect with like maybe the S24 Plus, something along the lines of that. It's going to have a 6.5 inch screen still. So 6.5 inch, but the dimensions are going to be a little bit different because it's not going to be as tall and it's not going to be as narrow. So that could be good for some things, but for some things, maybe not so much. One of the reasons why Sony has stuck with the 21 by 9 aspect ratio is for that cinematic presentation when you're watching videos and things like that. It's ideal for watching 4K content on your screen. And it looks like the 4K screen might be going the way of the Dodo. Now, yes, there's going to be some wailing and gnashing of teeth there. I'm not happy about that. I imagine other Sony fans won't be happy about that. But hear me out for at least the reasonableness part of the conversation. So the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, not always in 4K. It's only in 4K when you're looking at videos and photos that are at that resolution. So it's not like when you're sitting there looking at the front screen, it's on 4K. No, it's not. It's on 2K, Quad HD Plus resolution, which is the same as everything else. If you had it in 4K resolution all the time, it would burn up a lot more battery. And you really wouldn't notice too much difference in normal day-to-day -day things. But yeah, if you want to watch Top Gun Maverick on your phone, you want to do it with the 21 by 9 aspect ratio 4K. And that's certainly what it would do. So that was one of the nice things, one of the nice benefits we got. But it looks like they're going to go all in with 2K all the time. So we'll see how that pans out. Maybe it's a more mainstream approach. Maybe some people who have not wanted a Sony phone will come and flock to it like they have never done before. But I don't know. I think it's a mixed bag in the Sony fan community. I mean, I like the 21 by 9 I like the 6.5 inch screen. I like what we're working with here. I just wanted to see some improvements in some other areas, like maybe bring facial recognition, you know, maybe give us some better AI features when it comes to the point shoot capability on the camera. I mean, there's a couple different things that they could do that people might would enjoy. Of course, we want to hold on to the headphone jack. We want to head on. To, we want to hold on to the SD card. They're basically the last guys that are doing that. What you can see from the images, though, are that the headphone jack is still there and it still has the dedicated shutter button. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I hope they maintain the textured glass. Like, I don't even care if they go to Gorilla Glass Victus Armor. If they keep it with the Victus Glass 2 that they have that has this textured glass, I, I hope they keep that. It's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite things about the Sony phone. The exterior design and the way they have the glass on the back. It has little contour lines on the side to help out with additional grip. There's a lot of thought that went into this phone. And I really like the Xperia 1 Mark IV, but the problem was it suffered from a lot of the same issues other phones did that had the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1. Heat, heat, heat. It just couldn't handle the heat. It would overheat all the time when you're doing photo and video stuff. No good. Wasn't great on battery. It would get super hot when you would play games and things like that. So the Snapdragon 8 Generation 2, that was a huge, huge upgrade. So looking for it. It looks like, yes, we're, we are going to get the, the disappointment with the change in the form factor. But, hey, for daily usage, maybe people will enjoy having a little bit wider screen. I mean, there are nice benefits to that. I do use other phones that are capable of doing that, that have a design that matches that appearance. But I always like this one because it's thin, it's narrow, it's easy to use, it's super lightweight. So I hope we don't have too many trade-offs in that department. We'll have to see. But let me know what you think of the leaks and the, and the renders and what it looks like. Let me know... If the change in design, it, it, if it impacts your decision one way or the other, if you want to buy one or not, I'm expecting it'll probably be here sometime around May. So the Xperia 1 Mark V got announced last May. So kind of the general consensus here is we'll probably see the Xperia 1 Mark VI uh, get announced in May. I think the global version was available in like July. And then finally we got it here in the United States in like August or something. I can't remember exactly. Thankfully, last year, Sony worked with me and they sent me the phone early so I could test it out and make a bunch of videos. Uh, I've been in contact with them. I sure hope that happens again because I think that was great for those people who actually care about the Sony phones. I know 
people get the phone, they make one video, they make their review, and then you never see any content about it again. Like, I make a lot of content about the Sony phones, especially when they first come out. So, yeah, I would like to get my hands on one because, one, the Sony phones are my favorite, and two, I, I really like to make content for Sony fans out there who enjoy the Sony phones. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. There are also some speculation around the cameras. We kind of got some initial thoughts that it might be three 48 megapixel sensors on the back, but... Not sure if that's going to change or not, but here's one thing. If they do make the phone a little bit thicker, it would accommodate a little bit more of a larger sensor, especially for like a telescopic telephoto or something like that. It'll be interesting to see what they do with the cameras. Some rumors are saying that they're going to remain the same. Some are saying we're going to get three 48 megapixel Exmor sensors. Uh, either way, uh, I can see... Pros and cons for both. Uh, my thought process is if they keep the same cameras, maybe that means they can drop the price because $1,399 I think is still a little bit too expensive. Some of those things they need to change are like adding additional support. I think maybe seven years might be a bit too much, but like two, three years right now is just not that good. We really need to get to about four or five years of support, especially for what they're asking for these phones. And there are people that really like them. I really hope that they can put these at least back on the Best Buy shelf. It would be so nice to be able to walk into Best Buy and go buy one, not have to order one, get it shipped to my house. Like I want to go see one in person, and I think a lot of people who are spending this kind of money want to go see one in person. Uh, there's nothing really when it comes to like colors and stuff. I love this khaki green. I'd love to see another green color. It'll be interesting to see what they do. They do kind of subdued colors with the Xperia Mark One series, kind of more flat, earthy tones. We have like the white color, the green color, the black. So I don't expect anything really, really too crazy in the color department, but at least a lot of the important features appear to be back, like the shutter button, that's for sure going to be there, the headphone jack, that's for sure going to be there. So I'd assume that the SD card storage will be there as well, but I'm interested to see what they do. I love the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. I think it's a fantastic phone. I think finally they've had some decent deals. I think you can get it for around like $11.99 right now on Best Buy, maybe a little cheaper some other places, but keep your eyes out. And here's the other thing. When the Xperia 1 Mark 6 comes out, if you don't like it, the 1 Mark 5, it will drop in price. And it's a really, really, really good phone. Like, I really love this phone. It's been such a good phone. I really enjoy it. They've been really good about software updates. And that's one big thing that I have to give them credit for. Over the last year, like, they've really surprised a lot of people providing better software updates, better, better patches, getting them out faster. And they got Android 14 pretty darn quick. Like, a lot faster, I think, than anybody really anticipated it. So... That's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show y'all. We got the new we got the new renders that are out there that show what the phone is supposed to look like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you're interested. Let me know if you're excited about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 6. And we'll go from there. But yeah, regardless of whether I get sent one from Sony or I have to buy one myself with my hard-earned money, I will be getting one and I'll be covering it extensively once it is finally available. So that's all I got. If you have any questions or comments, please go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, Please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.